na sisi hamutakaa tutawapeleka kamiti na mtakuwa wanawake murudi nje kama nyinyi ni wanawake yeah. tunasema asanti kwa everyone who is here the bigger gap is in the investigations because you have to understand that some of these crimes are perpetrated online and to be able to uh, conduct the forensic investigation that is necessary to nab this it requires specialized resources it requires specialized training so My name is Amina, women of Garissa County. Uh, this is a commendable job today what we are doing. I want to congratulate everyone who is here. The femicide has no region. I'm from Garissa and it is happening right in Garissa. It happens in Mombasa. It happens in Nairobi. It's happening everywhere. We want to appeal to the government to talk about this. Al-Shabaab tunapiga kelele. Hii ni kama Al-Shabaab bana. Watu wanauliwa na hao wanaume wenye wanaua watu na wanataka kukaa hii Kenya na sisi. Hamutakaa tutawapeleka kamiti na mtakuwa wanawake murudi nje kama nyinyi ni wanawake. Yeah. Tunasema asanti kwa everyone who is here and we will fight as women leaders we will fight for the rights of the women of this Kenya. Na Rachel angekuwa hapa leo. Yes. First lady of the Republic should have been here with us today. But I know she is hearing us. Please please let's fight for the women of Kenya together. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Uh, I want to speak on behalf of the Law Society of Kenya. We have uh, joined other civil society organizations in expressing our anger at uh, the recent killing that has been going on in the country of women. We are saying that a country is judged not by how well it treats its rich people, but how well it takes care of the weak and the vulnerable. Women are the backbone of any society and so therefore women deserve protection from the law in terms of some of the criminal activities that we have seen targeted specifically at women and so it is important that as people we come out and express our anger this is an important exercise because civil power is resident in the people and so therefore when people come out to express their anger it is upon the government it is upon the legislators to listen to their plea so one of the things which we would want to add as we make our add our voice to this is to make a plea for the government to support the judiciary because the judiciary has set up courts that are supposed to deal with gender based violence to support those courts so that they can expedite the hearing of these cases to support the police and the DCI so that they can improve their capacity to investigate what are now beginning to be online uh, complex crimes that require serious resources to investigate and to prosecute. So if we do that, then we will have a society where not only will our women and other vulnerable members of society be safe, but the entire society will be safe. Question. Yes. It takes uh, 1,900 days to prosecute a case against the agenda of Why do you think that is so? That is putting us there to chair of the policy. That is so because the judiciary is not being given enough resources to be able to uh, set up enough courts to hire additional uh, magistrates and judges that are required to make these cases move at a faster rate. As we speak right now, we have about a shortage of about 100 judges. We have a shortage of about 200 magistrates and adjudicators. And so that means that the wheel of justice grinds slowly as a result of uh, inadequate provisions of resources to the judiciary. So if we can see an increased allocation to the judiciary, then we will get to a point where we can reduce the number of days uh, that uh, it takes to hear and determine a case. And that will have a deterrent effect because if someone can take one year, two years before their case is had and determined, it makes them uh, get the confidence to believe that they can get away with it. But if we can be able to determine cases within a short period of time because of adequate resources, then that will have a deterrent effect and will send a message that we are serious against this kind of crimes, especially gender-based violence. Uh, President, uh, where is the gap? Is the gap in the criminal justice system? Is it with the judiciary? Is it with the investigations that we don't see such cases pursued to the full end and, and uh, victims get justice? There are gaps within the justice system across the board. 
there are gaps uh, primarily. The bigger gap is in the investigations because you have to understand uh, that some of these crimes are perpetuated online. And to be able to uh, conduct the forensic investigation that is necessary to NAB, this, it requires specialized resources, it requires specialized training. So that is one of our bigger gaps. The second gap is in uh, uh, prosecution. We know that the prosecution has established uh, offices, uh, with trained officers to deal with these crimes, but they still need, they still a lot more that needs to be done. The judiciary has tried by setting up uh, several uh, gender-based uh, courts, but we need to have this gender-based courts in every region where we have, because these crimes are occurring across the entire country and women are bearing the brunt of it. So if we have that, then we are going to have a system that is able to adequately respond to the social challenge of the century that we are facing. Maybe lastly, a message just to the girls as an elder brother and a leader. We just want to say that we stand in solidarity with the women in this country. The Law Society will take all proactive steps to ensure that uh, we lobby our partners, we lobby the government to put an end to this uh, uh, very, very social advice that is affecting our women. Thank you.